and sisters. So, again, uh, I came across a couple of verses last night that I think are pretty interesting. Um, and it has to deal with this whole easy believism, lordship, salvation, repentance thing. And, of course, I didn't prepare anything starting this video, so I'm just going to look up these verses really quick. Uh... Witness. Oh, Acts. No, this verse is in Acts. Okay, so Acts 5.32 says, And we are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them, that obey him. Okay, so here we have salvation as compared to obeying God. Okay, the only people who get the Holy Spirit are those who are saved. You know, in Romans somewhere it says that everyone who is saved, um, the Holy Spirit dwells in them. And then also on my wall here, I got Second Corinthians three five or Second Corinthians thirteen five. It says, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Uh, no, not your. Or, yeah, prove your own selves. No, know you not your own selves how that Jesus Christ is in you, except you be reprobates. So it's talking about Christ is in you. You know, if you're saved, the Holy Ghost is in you. If you're saved. So. Acts five thirty two, says the Holy Ghost whom God hath given to them that obey Him. So see, a saving faith equals also obedience to Christ, okay, as Lord. And there's no other way, and that's what the Bible says all throughout. Um, so I've heard um, people say that when they got saved that they submitted their life to Christ. And I think that that's a pretty accurate way of putting it. And I don't think necessarily that it's wrong to say, you know, accept Christ into your life or something like that but I do think that submitting is, is accurate there must be submission and that's why someone has to repent of their sins and believe to be saved so there's another verse that I wanted to put out or to talk about Romans 10, 1 through 3 says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Okay, so we're talking about salvation here. Verse 2, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. See, they are not saved because they have not submitted themselves to the righteousness of God. So saving faith requires obedience and submitting to the Lord. That's why, and you know, that's... People say, you know, well, it, repentance can't mean turning from your sin because you sin, you still sin and everything, and they don't understand that turning is just a change of direction. But, you know, and also that... There's an initial repentance for salvation, but it's also ongoing. So this initial repentance, this initial turning from your sins, is the beginning of obedience. It's the beginning of submitting uh, to Christ as Lord. And then there's a continuance of that afterwards. Okay. Um, you know, and some other things... I learned last night that in the New Testament, Lord is found way more than the word Savior. And more times, uh, you find Lord before Savior more times than the other way around. There's one, two, three. Okay, three times in the New Testament, Savior comes before Lord. 
but then one, two, three, four, five times it's Lord before Savior. But also they're always together. Okay, actually I'm wrong about that. They're not always together. They're just together because I just typed them both in there. But I guess it could be said eight times they're found together. So anyways, we see from those scriptures that salvation does involve obedience and sub submission. Um, and I want to talk about something else too that recently happened. This uh, There was some subscriber that his name was, his or her name, I don't even know. It was I Run With Scissors or something like that. And they got all offended because I made this video about having your name slandered and I think at the very beginning of the video I talk about it's fruit I'm talking about fruit I'm saying this is not usually a fruit that someone thinks of and then he tries to reverse things saying that I'm saying that you're not say that that you need to have your name slandered to be saved now, that's not what I'm saying at all okay <laughs> of course there might be people who you know are saved who haven't had their name slandered in some way or another I mean it doesn't seem you know likely according to the scriptures uh, you know, Jesus said the world will hate you because it hated me. Um, so I read all the scriptures and stuff that show that. So it's just a misunderstanding on this guy's part. And unfortunately, he's uh, listening to this Kevin Kazak heretic who teaches easy believism. And uh, I don't know, this I run with scissors person is probably not even saved. And, uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. But that name slandering video, I'm talking about fruit. I'm saying that, you know, this is more than likely going to happen to people who are saved. Okay, so, I don't know what else I want to say. Oh. Uh, anyways. I guess that's all that I'll say for now. There's something else I want to make another video on next, so it's different. So thanks for watching. God bless. Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.